Welcome to another Lawman Adventure Ride. In this video, I truly take the Africa Twin off-road and ride fire roads through the Washita National Forest. I met my guide Armando on Facebook, and he took me through parts of the forest I'd never seen before. There were five in our group to start out with. As I said before, I rode my Honda Africa Twin. Armando rode his DR650. The other three guys rode BMW GSs and departed so from our group after hill, lunch. Unfortunately, I was unable right. to capture very much video that morning because my GoPro kept malfunctioning. I finally got it working properly that afternoon, and by then it was just me and Armando still on the trail. Now I have an attachment that hooks the GoPro to my helmet and allows me to vlog. However, my ND filters did not fit it. My last few videos were grainy, so I chose to use an ND filter this time, causing me to sacrifice using a microphone to vlog. As for the ride, I haven't taken the Africa Twin off-road that many times. I will have to say Armando took me out of my comfort zone, but that is just what I needed. I learned that the AT is more than capable of handling fire roads and trails. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll go. check back in with you shortly. Yeah, turn it off on me. I don't know why. The National Forest is a beautiful area, and we probably didn't even explore a quarter of it that, that day. There are several small lakes and a few primitive camping areas. Armando was planning a ride the following weekend and camping overnight. He used this ride to scout for a proper campsite. He found a clearing near a creek, and you will see it in this video. Many years ago, my uncle, cousins, and I rode horses through this area. 
We rode deep in the woods and found a nice creek with crystal clear water flowing over the rock. My uncle told me the Trail of Tears ran through that area. Such a beautiful place for such a sad occurrence. We entered the Washita National Forest near Perryville, Arkansas, and rode to Highway 7 just north of Hot Springs Village before heading east back into the woods again. Even though this part of the forest is fairly remote, we still passed several people hiking and riding bicycles. There were also a few people in cars and on motorcycles, and a few camping. When I rode through these woods on horseback with my uncle back in the early to mid 90s, we had the place to ourselves. People really didn't venture into the woods back then but that has definitely changed now. A lot more people have discovered the beauty of the outdoors. I miss the days of having the woods to myself, but I can't blame people for wanting to come out and enjoy them. There's just something primitive and peaceful about being in the wilderness.
Virginia. This is not marked on any Oh, uh, you just found it? Oh, really? After leaving the clearing, we continued east and eventually out of the woods. Before leaving the forest, we stopped at a neat spillway, but unfortunately I was unable to get that one on camera. By the time I got home, I was stiff and sore, but I slept like a baby that night. Don't let anyone fool you. Riding a heavy adventure bike on fire roads is a huge workout on your body. It may have wore me out, but I had a blast, and I can't wait to do it again. I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in the past few weeks. Work and family have kept me very busy this last month, but I hope things will slow down soon. I have a lot of footage, but it takes time to edit videos. I hope in the near future to start putting out weekly videos again. Please enjoy the rest of this video, and please help my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, this is Lawman, signing off.